Welcome, welcome to another retro unboxing video. Today we are going to unbox the 5 quart Visions range top Dutch oven covered sauce pot. It's got a lot of names to it. It just calls itself the V5 covered sauce pot. A lot of people call it the Dutch oven. A lot of people call it a sauce pot. It's a big pot. It's made out of amber glass. It's five quarts, and we're going to take it out of the box. But before we do so, a couple of fun retro notes here. Uh, well, first of all, I'd like to point out this was made in 1986. I'll put a close-up of that in a minute. Um, like the last piece of Visions cookware that I unboxed, it was from 1986. Like every piece of Visions cookware I have unboxed, it came to me from a specialty antiques website. I got all of these from a place called Ruby Lane. If you are interested in buying antique cookware or antique kind of anything, you might want to check out Ruby Lane. It's a really cool site. Uh, it's um, very person to person. Uh, you're not talking to big corporations. You're usually talking to private individuals who are selling things out of their collections. Uh, I got these at very reasonable prices. One of the reasons why I decided to try the Visions cookware is because I was able to buy it much more affordably than I was able to buy contemporary glass and ceramic cookware. So I thought, well, this is new in the box. It's not like anybody's eaten off of it. I will give it a try. More amusingly to me are two things that came with every piece of Visions cookware that I was not expecting. First of all, a retro artifact, real newspaper packing. Yeah, uh, I everything I've had to pack in the past five years, I've used uh, bubble wrap, I've used old sweatshirts, I have used kind of everything in the world to substitute for newspaper because I don't have wads of newspaper lying around anymore because I haven't had a newspaper subscription in I have honestly no idea when was the last time I had a newspaper subscription, but it, I, I, maybe never, maybe it was just family members that had it now that I think about it, but anyway, that's a little bit of a side note, but I just thought it was fun because this came packed in oodles and oodles of uh, newspaper, and uh, I have no idea where they got them from, if, if it was newspapers they had lying around from 20 years ago, or if they are actually still one of the few newspaper subscribers in America, but um, it was kind of fun. The other thing that came with these that I can't show you is the overpowering smell of cigarette smoke. Uh, every piece of cookware, despite coming from different vendors, has smelled like cigarette smoke, so uh, all I can ascertain from that is either the people who hold on to Vision's cookware new in the box for 20 or 30 years, or the people who collect it are all avid smokers. But um, another retro thing from the era that's completely era appropriate. Uh, every grandmother and aunt that I had that was roaming around in the 80s that would have gone to a store and purchased something like this was also a chain smoker, so it, it fits in. Just thought it was fun, just a little weird note. So. Now to the actual product at hand. They are boiling corn in here. I don't know why that was a big deal, but uh, <laughs> I don't boil a lot of corn. Um, this, as you can see, like the last piece I unboxed was made, or at least sold, in 1986. Here's the side of the box, again with more corn. I still think it's adorable that they lift, list microwave versatility in special blue letters because that was a special thing back in 1986. Not everything you bought was microwave safe. And now, if something doesn't last in the microwave, you're just mad at it for being a piece of junk. Back then, a legitimate selling point. side. You may or may not have noticed, but every one of these has also had a little serial number kind of embossed into the cardboard on the side here. This one's 12471. I'm going to be throwing this box away, so kind of don't care, but interesting to note if you wanted to experience this for yourself, that is what you would have. So here's the back. Very similar to the other back packages. 
get your proof of purchase. If you cut these out and send 10 of them away, you get a special collector's edition Megatron action figure. No, you don't. That's a total lie. Takes 25 of them and you get Cobra Commander. And that is a joke for little boys who grew up in the 80s. Here is more information about the warranty. Here are other fine saucepans you could make in other fine sizes. And now, let's get to the matter at hand. Cracking open of the awesome box. Ooh, that was easy. One, two, oh, I like this box. This box wants to be opened. It's waited far too long to reveal its mysteries and secrets to the world. I am unboxing this in 2018, so you can do the math, but it's been more than two or three whole years since this was put on the shelf and then put out to pasture. All right, that bit was a little bit harder. Maybe the box got mad at me for making fun of it. go. Lovely yellow dome greets us. This is the base of the unit. Very nice. This has a smooth bottom, unlike the pans which have a waffle bottom. Company name embossed in the glass there. Actually, it's not an embossment. That's the other one. <laughs> the word that I can't think of right now. This says it was inspected by 61, and it has that little apple on it that you saw on the warranty card on the back. Here is a neat little piece of paper. I believe we got one of these in a set we bought a while back. So it's fun to look at. Use the right pan for the right job. More corning product you could buy. The V7, the V1, the V2. Remember, this is the pan that the Germans used to blitz London with. You want to avoid that pan. Information on how to use a double boiler. I guess this is just generic catch-all instructions for all of their saucepans and skillets. Still good to have. And now, last but not least, the lid. Also covered in styrofoam. Shame on them. Bad for the environment, even in 1986. Oh, and a little bit of a bonus, if you can see, a little bit of a cobweb in here. Sorry, little spider. This box is no longer your home. Right here, though, is the lid. Very similar in look and feel to every other lid we've picked out, which is good. You're buying this for uniformity, partly. And even though one set I got was made in 1985 and another was made in 1986, they look identical and will sit nicely on the shelf together. Now, last of all, let's put it together and see how it looks. The sound of boxes falling on the side. Here's the base. Here's the lid. And unlike the frying pan, this doesn't seem to have a gap. This actually has a little bit of an overhang on the lip. So pretty good, pretty tight. See, oh, wait, wait, I'm wrong. There is a little bit of a gap right here. Again, without being able to talk to one of the manufacturers, it's hard to know if that was intentional. That's just an unavoidable defect. But there it is. I will let you know what it is like to actually cook with the next time I make a soup or a stew. That has been unboxing the Visions Cookware V5 Saucepot. Thank you for watching.